Are we given buildings like Chart Cathedral to experience heaven on earth? I love that question. <laughs> um, because it, 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 it has behind it so many lovely assumptions, and that is that we are being given. Uh, I would say yes, but then one would have to be very careful what one meant by saying yes to the question, because looking at the question, who is giving the giving? And of course, for those of us who are believers, it's very simple. All things are given by God, all things are taken back into God. But um, taking the idea that one is given it in the form of revelation, in the form of, of inspiration, in the form of knowledge and learning, which puts a building like this together, yes, it is given, and yes, it is for our upliftment, our self-discovery, our experience of unity, anything which brings us closer to our completeness and our rediscovery of our, our own uh, relationship to God. Maybe I could take him bowling. If you love me, you could do this for me. If you don't love me, okay. But if I had a friend come visit, I would make him feel comfortable. I don't have any blind friends. You don't have any friends. <sighs> All I'm trying to say is... Come on, this man's wife just died. Don't you understand? He lost his wife. Poor Robert. I can only imagine how much he misses Bayula. Bayula? Was his wife a negro? Are you drunk? What is wrong with you? Just asking. <sighs> they were perfect for each other. Oh! I have to pick him up from the train station. I'll finish dinner when I get back. Could you please clean up the living room? It's not like he'll care. I'll be back. Okay, drive safe, honey. This blind man, an old friend of my wife's, he was on his way to spend the night. His wife had died from breast cancer, so he was visiting the dead wife's relatives in Connecticut. I called my wife from his in-laws. Arrangements were made. He would come by train, a five-hour trip. She hadn't seen him since she worked for him one summer in Seattle three years ago. She used to read case studies and reports to him and help organize his little office in the social services depot. But she and the blind man had kept in touch. They made tapes and mailed them back and forth. I wasn't enthusiastic about his visit. He was no one I knew. And his being blind bothered me. My idea of blindness came from the movies. In the movies, the blind moved slowly and never laughed. Sometimes they were led by seeing eye dogs. A blind man in my house was not something I looked forward to. The last day she had worked for him, she let him touch her face. He touched her lips, her eyes, her nose, and her neck. She never forgot it, but she wouldn't let me. They told each other about their days, their passions, their goods and their bads. I'm sure the details of many of our marital spats had all been wrapped up tightly in a yellow envelope and sent across the country to the blind stranger that will soon be sitting in my living room. I heard one of the tapes once. The blind man talked about Bela beyond my understanding how they could have lived together, slept together, and loved each other, all without him having ever seen the goddamn woman's face. Nice to finally meet you. I feel like we've met before. Likewise. Heard a lot about you. Come, Robert. Let's sit down. The couch. Oh, watch to your left. There's a coffee table. We just bought that two weeks ago. So, how was your train ride? Which side did you sit on? What a question. Which side? The right side. I haven't been on a train ride in many years. Not since I was a little kid with my folks. It's so good to see you, Robert. So, Robert, how are things at the office? Oh, you know, the same old thing. Not a lot has changed since you left. Is Keon still working there? You know, <laughs> Keon the Klutz. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he owned the klutz. He's still <laughs> floating around in the office. Hasn't had much of a catastrophe, though, since that last time. You know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I waited in vain to hear my name on my wife's sweet lips, hoping she'd tell Robert about my golf score the other day, or maybe how I cooked her dinner two nights ago, or maybe... The huh? Robert asked you if you liked your work. Oh. I don't. No. Oh, well that's too bad. Well, while you fellas get more acquainted, I'm going to finish dinner. It's almost ready. So, uh, how long have you had your job? About three years. Oh, okay. Uh, are you going to leave it anytime soon? Not too many options in this county. <laughs> you got that right. Let me get you a drink. What's your pleasure? What about anything your bar has to offer? Bub, I'm a scotch man. Right. I knew it. Any water in your scotch? Very little, bub. Thanks. I knew it. Just a tad. The Irish actor. Barry Fitzgerald? I like that fellow. When I drink water, Fitzgerald would say, I drink water. When I drink whiskey, I drink whiskey. Here you go. Oh. Thanks. Dinner's ready. All right, let's pray. Pray the phone won't ring and pray the food doesn't get cold. Amen. That was the best meal I had ever since Bayola made that Christmas dinner back when you were at the office. You remember that? Oh my gosh, of course I do. How could you forget about her famous strawberry pie? <laughs> Actually, there's one in the oven right now waiting for us to eat later. Mm, I thought I smelled something familiar. For a second, I thought Bayola was back in the kitchen. Robert, do you have a TV? I have two, my dear. I have a color, and I have a black and white, an old relic. It's funny, every time that I turn on the TV, and I'm always turning on the TV, I always turn on the color. It's pretty funny, don't you think? Well, I'm going to go get the pie out of the oven, and then I'm going to go to bed. Do you need anything, Robert? No, I'm comfortable, dear, but thank you. Okay, well, your bed is made up when you're ready. Thanks. I'm just going to relax here for a bit. Okay, well, good night. Good night. Need another drink? Sure, bub. You, uh, do you want to smoke some dope? Sure, I'll try some with you. Damn right, that's the stuff. You ever smoked cannabis? Well, I do now. There's always time to try something new. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, take a hit and hold it in as long as possible. Okay. <coughs> it's not like a cigarette, is it? <laughs> you got that right, bub. I'm not really feeling anything yet. This stuff is pretty mellow. This stuff you can reason with. This stuff doesn't really mess you up. <laughs> yeah.
we'll be devouring that pie in about 20 minutes. I'm still pretty full from that meal your wife, your wife made for us. Yeah, she could win Iron Chef if she wanted to. I sure have had a nice time here. It beats the tapes. Well, we're glad to have you. You can head to bed anytime you want. I can take you up now if you're ready. Nah, I'll stay up with you, bud. Me and her monopolized the conversation, so this will give us a chance to, you know, hang out. He has described his relationship with Sharch as a marriage. And indeed, well, there's nothing on TV except for infomercials of this. Well, it never hurts to learn something. You can just leave it here. I'll stay for the company. Do you want me to tell you what's on the TV? Sure, I'd enjoy that. Well, they're showing cathedrals. They're showing the outside of them now. Gargoyles. Little statues carved to look like monsters. Now I guess they're in Italy. Do you have any idea what a cathedral is? What they look like that is? Do you follow me? Like, do you know the difference between that and a Baptist church? Well, I know they took hundreds of workers to build them. But that's just common knowledge. And I know whatever else this man on the show is telling me about them. But honestly, that's about all I know. I'd like you to describe it to me if you can. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They're very tall. They reach way up to the sky. They're really big. Massive. Made of marble or stone sometimes. Some have devils carved in them. Or lords and ladies. Not doing very well, am I? That's all right. You're doing fine. Well, in those olden days when they were built, men wanted to be close to God. God was an important part of everyone's life back then. They have stained glass in the cathedrals with different scenes from the Bible or whatever. I guess that's the best I could do for you. I'm sorry. I'm just not good at it. Hey, don't worry about it. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, then, uh, no offense intended, but are you religious in any way? I guess I don't really believe in it, or anything really. It's just hard sometimes, you know? Sure, I do. Hey, sorry about the cathedrals. I just can't describe them to you. Cathedrals just don't mean anything special to me. You know, they're just something to look at on late night TV. That's all they are. I get it, bub. It's okay. It happens. Don't worry about it. I got an idea. Uh, do you have any heavy paper and a pen? We'll draw one together. Okay, let's do her. What do you want me to do? Draw. I'll follow along. You'll see. something. 